Today, I'm going to show you step by step how to send DocuSign envelopes. Welcome back to this channel. It's Sofian here, your DocuSign expert. I help businesses implement digital signature and workflow automation solutions. And today, I'm going to walk you through on step by step how to send your first DocuSign envelope. DocuSign envelopes work in a very similar way uh, if we compare them with normal paper envelopes. The main difference is that you can place as many documents as you want inside of them and they also automatically route to the next recipient. So if recipient one has finished signing, um, it will automatically get routed to the next recipient. So let's just get started. After logging into DocuSign, click on New and send an envelope. Click on Upload and choose the file that you want to send. You can add as many as you like and the format can be a PDF or a Word document, for example. The second step is to add the workflow to our envelope. In this example, I'm using a sales proposal, which needs to be signed by myself and the client. But I also want my accounts team to know that the client has accepted the proposal so they can start the invoicing process immediately. So let's go ahead and add the first recipient. That's going to be the client, John Smith. Now you've got a list of different actions that you can allocate to each recipient. In this example, we just need the needs to sign. Now I'm going to add the second recipient and that's going to be myself. Needs to sign is also the right action. And I also want to CC my team member in this envelope. So add a recipient. And instead of needs to sign, I'm going to change this to a receives a copy. Now, I want to make sure that I don't receive the envelope unless John has signed his part. So I'm going to tick the set signing order. John is in position one, uh, I'm in position two, and a team member is in position three, which is totally fine. I also want to change the email subject and message um, so that it looks nicer uh, for John. So please DocuSign your NDA, and I'm just going to thank him. Now I'm going to click on Next, and that's the last step of the envelope sending process. You can drag fields from the left-hand side and drop them onto the document. DocuSign fields indicates to your recipient which action or information they need to add to the envelope. So let's scroll down to the last page of the document because this is when um, I need a signature from the client. Now we can see that the fields are currently in yellow and that's because John Smith here at the top is the recipient selected. If I click on my name, the fields become blue. That is how you know who you're adding the field for. If you make a mistake, you can always change the ownership of a field and I'll show you how later. Now the order in which you're adding the fields onto your document um, doesn't matter at all, but I just like to start by the client. So I'm gonna select John Smith and add a signature tag right here. I also need John's name and I want his title as well as the date signed. Those last three fields are automatically filled out. John doesn't need to enter anything. They will be automatically populated. Now I just want to make sure everything is centered. So now that I've done John's part, I need to add the field for myself. Um, I could just drag and drop one field after the other, but I can also just drag over and do a control D, which then just copies and pastes uh, the same selection. And that's when I can actually change the ownership um, to myself for those particular fields. And that's it. The envelope is ready to be sent. Let's just click on send. I'm now log in, logged into John's inbox and um, there's a notification asking him to sign the NDA. So let's just click on review and sign on his behalf. To start the signing process, John can just click on start and he will be taken straight to wherever he needs to sign on the document and click on sign, select the style that he likes and adopt and sign. John's signature has now been added onto the document, so John can now click on finish. And now that John has signed, I'm logged into my own inbox and I've received a notification from DocuSign asking me to sign the document. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I can now see that John has already signed. I can sign myself and finish. And just a few seconds later, we've all received the same email from DocuSign. And that email contains the signed version of our proposal. 
while all this was quite quick, we can speed up the process by saving our document as well as the workflow in a DocuSign template. And that's what I'm gonna show you next. Now that you know how to send your DocuSign envelopes, the next thing you must learn is how to set up templates. Templates will allow you to send your envelopes in no time because they will contain the document, workflow, and field of your DocuSign envelope. And that's what I'm gonna show you in the next lesson. So if you did enjoy this video and learned something, I hope you can give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video.